Hello and welcome back to Wings Geo. You know how they say, and by the way, one last thing. Well, here is my last thing moment. After doing some subtle cosmetic modifications, I just could not resist a different exhaust as the stock exhaust one was just too tame for me. I ended up going with the Agostini short option and the end result was exactly what I had hoped for. Let's take a look. Removing the stock exhaust was a breeze, as it is just held in place with a clamp towards the motor and a hanger on the back. Once again, the stock exhaust is quite porky compared to the aftermarket exhaust, which uh, I would estimate uh, would net a weight saving of about 8 to 10 pounds. Let's take a quick listen how the bike sounds with uh, no exhaust at all. After having a great experience with AF1 racing in Austin, Texas, I utilized them again and the exhaust arrived within 24 hours after ordering. Talk about a speedy delivery. All the contents were well protected inside the box and as you can see from the handwritten labels, it was definitely handmade and packed. I find it interesting that it's even hand wooden on the back here. And look at this beauty. The quality seems very nice and the hand wooden golden lettering are just the icing on the cake giving the exhaust a special touch. Here you can see the contents of the package, which uh, comes with a bolt that I did not utilize. I stuck with the factory one, a cover up plate and the exhaust itself and a short instruction manual. That is really not needed. Installation was an absolute breeze with uh, no surprises whatsoever, everything fit well together and uh, matched the factory hanger. Uh, there was uh, one more little hiccup, but more on that in just a little bit. And then this plate here, I'm assuming it goes over here, which would finish off nicely. And 
and that is the whole install minus the test run and final tightening. Let's head to the other side. Let's have a listen with the DB killers installed. Remember the hiccup I was talking about? Well, I was talking about the DB killers. You actually need a special tool for the clip inside to remove the DB killers. And the clip itself is very, very stubborn and was very hard to remove. What were you thinking, Augustini? Oh my god. Here he comes. That's a bear. That is a bear. Not cool. Not cool, Augustini. And that is the DB killer right here. Let's take a listen. There you have it. All in all, I am very pleased with the exhaust by itself, the build quality and the sound without the DB killers. With the DB killers, it was still somewhat tame for me. And so I decided to leave the DB killers out at this point. Uh, once again, there had to be a better way of securing the DB killers inside than with that uh, clip Augustini is using there. But oh well, we got it done after all. That is pretty much uh, what I will be doing with this bike. Uh, I really love the look, the way it sits now. Uh, the only thing that I still have coming is a bar and mirror, but that is it. It looks uh, to me very classy, very retro, and uh, nothing else needs to be done. And that will do it for today. I hope you enjoyed my little unboxing slash installation video. Hopefully it was helpful to some. And uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. 
Until next time, bye.